All right, welcome back everybody. All right, so today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be using variables and my blocks. So on this one, I'm gonna be using all the concepts that we've been learning to, to make this happen. All right, so if you guys get lost, remember, go check out all the other live demos or the lectures, whichever one you would prefer, whichever, wherever you're stuck at. So, all right, so let's get started. So, all right, so first, I'm gonna go over my blocks. So my blocks, they're functions, you know, as we mentioned before, as re remember when we made the live demo, I made it live demo, I made it go in the square. Now we're gonna be using it way more efficient. So now we're gonna use a forward for, I can't spell today. <laughs> okay, so as you guys see, so now I have a forward defined. So now I'm gonna make a movement. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna define it as this. I'm gonna define the speed. I'm gonna, where's my percent? And then now I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna go forward for two seconds. And then I'm gonna go forward for two. And then obviously I need to go and check my ports. And then, so this is all it's gonna do. This is gonna go forward. So now I want it to go to the left, right? So now I'm gonna have a another one called left. So now on this left one, I'm gonna move everything over here. So on this left one, I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna go to where's my okay. So start moving at this one. I can't find it. I can move straight at speed. Move. Okay. Let's let's no not that one. Let's use this one. All right. So this one's obviously way more shorter than the other one. So. This one, I'm gonna make it go based on seconds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, oh, so this is where the variables come. So me, personally, I hate every single time having to go and change it just to one and two, cause you know, I could always just make a variable. So now we're gonna use, I already made, so we're gonna, so I'm just making a new variable. I'm gonna use, I don't know, seconds. Then I'm just gonna go like this so that it's not the same. So now we have seconds. I'm gonna implement it into here. And then before, I need to set it. So I'm gonna change it to 1.25, okay? So it's gonna rotate. So what this is gonna do, is gonna define it. So to, it's gonna go to, it's gonna define it to the counter. So no, this is counter, so I'm gonna go to seconds. And then it's gonna go for this amount of seconds. So I'm using that variable, you know? So remember, seconds has the value 1.25. You know, which is how many seconds I want it to go. And as well, I'm gonna set my speed to 30. And then I want it to turn to the left. Okay, so that's all we really need for this, right? So now I want it to go forward and then left. But here's the cool thing. So now we're gonna use events. So now we're gonna use control my back. So we're gonna, we're gonna make it repeat. Okay, so how many times, so I need to go forward once then twice, that's one, right? And then we want it to turn again, then go straight, that's twice. We want it to turn again, that's three. So we want it to go four times, right? So we're gonna make it go four times. So as you guys see, I'm using all the concepts that we've learned before, just to make this one, all right? So I'm gonna upload it, and then we're gonna test out what it does, all right? So let me remove this plate, or else it's not gonna work. All right. So I'm gonna upload it. All right, so now I'm gonna switch cameras so you guys could get a better view at it. All right, so now I'm gonna press on it. Oh shoot, can to hit the camera. <laughs> okay, well it worked, <laughs> but you know we're, we're gonna start at lower because it hit the camera. So. All right, so first, we're not gonna reduce the speed, it's going way too fast. So we're gonna go at 30. Actually, let's go at 25, because it's going way too fast. All right, so now we're gonna start all over. I'm gonna upload the program once again, and then we're gonna go on that. So I'm showing you guys how it could be done. Like, oh, as you guys saw before, I had like a big block, but now, look, my, my actual main, which is this, it's only three blocks. 
compared to before and then right here I don't have to repeat code and I could use variables and I could use all of these really cool things even for example like even right here if I wanted to I could just you, you reuse my variable so it'd be like I could go for seconds right here and then I could just right here set it to two seconds and then it still works right same thing all right so when uh, I'm gonna upload it again and then I'm gonna show you guys once once again then hopefully this time we get a perfect square all right so I'll make it go straight Right? You see? You guys saw that? What did I tell you guys? It's 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 really good. So 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 as you guys see, that's really all my my blocks and variables really are. For example, right here, like I I have like the repeat, you know. So if I really wanted to, I could even use this count this counter, and then go to set, and then over here, and then set counter to four. You know, for whatever reason, I always want to change it. I could just go and change it here. I don't, and then if it's if I'm using a multiple, multiple, you know, multiple times, I could just do that. The magic of programming it is it is powerful. Like it is so cool, you know. So as you guys know, like all of this is gonna be very useful when you guys learn it. So as well, you know, like if I really wanted to, like I could also implement like some of these things. Like if I really wanted to, I could put this and just do some quick math, you know. So. I'm not gonna do that right now because there's really no point to it. But as you guys know, all of this is possible. So I hope I hope that this kind of just gave you guys a small little demo. Obviously, you know, if I want to make it more fancy, I could use sensors. I could be like, okay, as soon as you hit the wall, I want you to do this. You know, like we could we could go crazy with this. But just for time purpose and just to demonstrate you guys the concepts and so you guys get a little visual of how look how much neater this looks compared to when we did the movement and we did the square. You know, it is, this is way more nicer to look at, right? Much more easier. Like, for example, if I have an error, I could just go and change the time. I could just go and check it like, okay, is it messing up on the left or on the forward? Compared to be like, okay, I need to go back and change it over and over and over. That's, that's just boring. You know, it's just time consuming. It's just, you know, mm. why, why do that when you could just make it so compact and so powerful? So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video, that you guys learned something, and I hope that you guys go and check out the rest of the videos. Thank you for watching.